got this cranberry going on. He's working on his third fucking plate. <laughs> Many Islanders, man. How they eat. They always got some fruit by them. Always. <laughs> Strawberries the whole night, man. Crazy, man. Coconut water. All that stuff. Leave it to me. I'm, man, I'm a meat. Meat and taters kind of got the fuck. <laughs> I'm meat and potatoes straight up. But, uh... People see me dress, you know. Like in my little Robert Graham, you know, my little Swarovski crystal buttons and stuff like that. And, you know, shine up my shoes and stuff. And here's the crazy thing, man. Like, people see me and stuff like this, and they'll say, like, you're kind of upscale. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to be 100% with you. I'm a barbecue kind of guy. I'm definitely the, the type of dude that that will um, that will order just meat and potatoes. I like the surroundings and stuff, though, but I'm, the, I'm a cheeseburger type of dude. <laughs> like, ask anybody, what is my favorite food? What will I always eat at least two to three times a week? Meat. <laughs> what else? Potatoes. No, whenever we was working together, remember that? that at, uh, Burritos. <laughs> Burritos all the time. Ask anybody about me, straight up. They'll say, that dude's a burrito. Yeah, eating burrito machine. all the time. Burrito and what? What do I eat my burritos with? Uh, mayonnaise. <laughs> See, you ask, you ask anybody around me, they start learning like little details of like, Wait a minute, you ate burritos like last time. I'm like, hmm, this is meat and cheese. Burritos and mayonnaise. Burritos and mayonnaise. That is a soft tortilla, though. And if it's in a hamburger, then I like meat and cheese and mayonnaise. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. But uh, anyway, I eat truck driver food. Not, for some reason, I like fashion. I think it's because my mom's adopted mom. She was into fashion. Furthermore, when she went back to the reservation, my crows were very loud dressers. Uh, a lot of people see Southwest designs. But when you go up into the Plains tribe, and you see some of that beadwork and some of that, you know, it's it's very detailed. And you see all those cut beads and, you know, all the, the ribbon shirts and stuff like that. That's, man. You see a lot of, uh, you see a lot of men do really good beadwork. Uh, you see two spirits and you see, like, you know, women. They keep their men, like, just straight up, just... That's why I always say, like, uh, if somebody ever really took a second, they would really look at crow uh, cowboy belts and the way they make that stuff on a loom and those beaded belts. Man, those things would take off, but it takes a lot of work. Anyway, I was, I was sitting here earlier, and I was like, you know what? I forget sometimes I'm in the Midwest, and I'm like, I'm asking the, the lady, I'm like, all right. <laughs> I said, tell my trainer, what's the difference between dinner and shovel? <laughs> it's funny, though, man, because it's the same thing. It's just where you live and where you're raised, though. You know? See, when you're in the Midwest, you're in the Deep South, and you start asking folks, so, uh, man, the way that it goes, the way it goes in the city, it's, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <clears throat> but if you're in the country, it's... Breakfast, dinner, and supper. <laughs> I don't mean to make fun of people, though, but... This is where I was raised, and this is what I do. You know? I try not to... Even in the big lights and big city and all the travel and all that stuff, man, I try not to forgive everywhere I'm from, though. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a matter of respect. You know? I'm glad to be from here. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get... I'm still waiting for a buddy of mine to get in on this flight. So... Thor Hill, where you at?